What is up, Telescopes? It's your girl Talise, aka Curly Tales, and I'm back here with another video. And today, as you can tell from the title, I am back with another money piece video. Today, I'm gonna be dyeing my money piece blue. Blue is my favorite color, so I am so excited to have blue hair really just in the front but i'm still super excited about it i feel like it's gonna be popping and i cannot wait to see how it turns out we all see it he has blue hair okay blue before we get started with this video i just want to say welcome back to all my subbies my telescopes and if you are new to my channel welcome make sure you hit the subscribe button right below this video and also make sure you ring that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video and if you have a natural hair channel and I'm not yet subscribed to you, comment that down below and I'll subscribe back. All right, let's get started. My hair is freshly deep conditioned and I deep conditioned with the Briogeo green hair mask. I cannot think of the name of it for the life of me right now. It really doesn't make any sense, but I can't think of its name. It's green, it smells pretty good. It kind of smells like Starburst or something. It smells like kind of like a candy, creamy candy kind of scent I don't know um, that's the one I use I do have a video on that deep conditioner that I'm gonna link down below in the description make sure you check it out because that is one of the best deep conditioners out it is so so good and it is also so so expensive so make sure you check that out to see how I feel about the price and the product itself the products that I'm gonna be using in this video are the Red King Shades EQ in 1B which is onyx and also crystal clear which is triple zero this is what they look like. They look the same besides the, the names. I'm also gonna be using the processing solution for the Shades EQ Gloss. I really didn't wanna buy this huge bottle, but that was the only size the store had. Thankfully, it wasn't expensive. It was only like $8, I think. And the last two products I'm going to be using are two Pulp Riot semi-permanent colors and they are in Blue Muse and Nightfall. So this is what they look like. Both beautiful blues. I love all blues. But I'm hoping to get kind of a mix between these two. Something in the middle. I'm also using a couple brushes and a comb and two bowls. This is 11.84 grams of the 1B tried to get it on camera and I wasn't filming <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and add about 40 grams maybe like 45 grams of the clear B is a super super dark blue a blue black and so diluting it with the clear is gonna get me a lighter blue hopefully <laughs> hopefully I diluted it good enough that I get that I don't get a super super dark blue now I'm adding about 57 grams of the Shades EQ gloss processing solution the reason I'm starting off with the Shades EQ is to give myself a blue base before I go in with this semi-permanent blue. Because my hair is orange and blue is orange's complementary color, like just putting them on top of each other was not going to give me the blue that I wanted. It was going to give me more of a muted, maybe like brownish color because they complement each other perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself this blue base so that my blue can pop, pop, pop. Since this does look really dark, even though I did dilute it with the clear, 
I'm only gonna leave it on for about five minutes to start. And I'm going to see if that's enough because I really don't want my hair super, super dark. Even though the color is dark, you can see the blue coming out. So I feel like that's a good sign. Barely. back and as you guys can see the 1B diluted turned my hair to kind of a chocolate brown and it's darker than I wanted it to be so maybe I should only let it off for like one minute but I mean I feel like it is gonna fade and then I could you know do the blue again after that so we'll keep attempting this until I get it the way I want it but I am gonna still put the blue on top of this and see how it turns out and Maybe it'll surprise me, hopefully. Hey Telescopes, I'm back a few days later and here is my money piece. It is honestly way too dark. I really wanted it to be a lot less subtle than it is. You can see the blue, which I'm happy about, at least you can see it. But it's so dark that I'm not really getting the vibrancy and like the poppage that I was looking for. 
here it is on the other side now don't get me wrong I do like it I love every single blue that there is so there was no way that I was gonna hate it I just really want like when you see me I want you to know that the front of my hair is blue so I do like it and I am glad that you can at least see it a little bit it's not so dark that it literally looks black but it's not what I was going for so we will be doing a take two of this video there will be dying my money piece blue part two that's gonna be coming as soon as this fades out a little bit I'm gonna try that out and the problem I already know what the problem was I didn't dilute that 1b enough I thought 10 grams and then the whole bottle of clear would be enough but it wasn't so maybe I should have only done two grams of the 1b and the whole bottle of the clear or maybe even one gram so when I try it again I'll probably do two grams of 1b and just the whole bottle of clear and we'll see what kind of base we get that time but I gotta wait for the base that I put in this time to fade on its own I'm probably gonna I hopefully it fades after a few washes so maybe like a month from now I can try it again I'm also thinking that the pulp riot nightfall might just be a little bit too dark for what I'm going for so I might have to do a little bit of a different mixture next time or just use a neon and see how that comes out or maybe just a little bit of the nightfall We'll see in part two what exactly I'm going to do. Please let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any suggestions on how I can get a more vibrant blue money piece. Just please let me know. I'm going to check those out and see if there's anything that I can do to just make this pop. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, share, and comment down below any videos you like to see. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and making it to the end of this video. And I will see you in the next one. All right, bye. Oh, before I go, I did want to tell you guys what I use to do this wash and go. And this is a wash and go that I already filmed. So make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it. And it's actually my Luster's Jerry Curl Activator Wash and Go. I use the Mish Beauty Leave-In, the Lavish Leave-In. Then I went in with the Jerry Curl Activator. And then I went on top of that with some wet lining string. So that wash and go is already up on my channel. It's actually my most viewed video ever. So make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it. And I'll see you guys later.